Oh crap! My Norton antivirus is out of date! Wait a minute. So have you noticed that type of notification before? Chances are you probably have. This is a new type of social engineering or phishing attack to try and lure people into downloading things or going to websites that they shouldn't be going to. Ultimately with the goal to install malware on a system or to get personal information. This is a newer type of delivery of a social engineering attack, but at the end of the day, it's still a form of phishing. So how does it work? Well, essentially in our browsers today, we can allow notifications to get pushed to our operating system. And this can be Windows, Mac OS, Android or iOS, or even Linux. So today I'll give you a quick tutorial on how you can solve this on a Windows 10 machine. But before we get started, if you wanna see more videos of cybersecurity aimed at all technical levels, then consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any future videos. So let's get started. Here we're in a virtualized Windows 10 machine. This is because I don't want to expose my real machine to these sorts of threats. So as we saw before, all these notifications start spamming up in this area here in your notification tray in Windows 10. Now the first thing we need to do to get rid of them is first of all, not trust anything they say. Second, we need to go down to the very bottom right corner where we see this little speech bubble and then we can furthermore expand to see all these notifications. Now, as I mentioned, don't click any of these as these are just false attempts to lure you into fixing the problem, which won't work. What you need to do is hit that tiny little cog icon there, which says settings, and then you go to the Chrome notification settings. Then from here, we have a list of websites that we have given permission to send us notifications. And we need to sort through these and just get rid of the ones which we don't want. Now, some of them may be perfectly legitimate, such as your email, WhatsApp, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But other ones can be used or rather misused to try and spread spam and misinformation and with the goal of collecting, say, credit card details, personal information, or it's installing malware onto your system. So let's go through them one by one, and we just click the three little dotted menu there, and then click remove for the ones that we don't want. Now I've gone ahead and removed all the ones which aren't there by default because I intentionally got this machine uh, infected with these notifications there. Next thing we want to do is just double check that we don't have any third party plugins installed or extensions that we don't actually want. And these also have a way of making their way onto your system through false advertising and things like that. So to do so, we go to Chrome and click those three dotted uh, menu there. And we go down to more tools followed by extensions. Now here there's a few extensions that I don't want, which I intentionally mistakenly put in there. So we just need to go ahead and click remove on each of these. Don't follow through to any of these pages. These are just there to try and get you to keep the plugin. And next, we just want to run a quick antivirus just to make sure that we haven't downloaded anything suspicious and we should be right to go. Now you might be wondering how these just got on your system in the first place. And rest assured, you probably don't have a virus if you are just getting these notifications. But you probably did give it permission at one point of time to send you these notifications. So as an example, I've basically got a pirate website open here and we basically see right at the start that it wants to send us notifications. So chances are, you know, you've probably clicked aloud on that and it started sending you notifications. However, this can actually also happen in uh, perfectly legitimate websites, which happen to be hacked. So a friend of mine was doing a course and she navigated to her course website and she trusted notifications because she trusts that organization. But little did she know that that website had actually been hacked and all the attackers did was just put a bit of code in that website that will send you these spam notifications. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, it really helps me out. If you are seeing any weird behavior on your computer, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know, and I can look at doing another tutorial on how to rectify that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.